Hello and welcome to this video where we just wanted to share some insight and some tips on how to best lead one of our favorite activities, the prosthetic leg project, with your own class. This one tends to be a little bit of a challenge for the kids, but it's also one of their favorites, so please encourage them to just stay patient with it and maybe entice them with a contest at the end to see who can take the most steps in their new prosthetic leg. This is an activity where we actually make it mandatory that students work in groups of two or three, and the idea there is so they can measure and build it for a team member's leg, as it's kind of hard to build one on your own. As far as the videos that we put together go, we strongly recommend that you go ahead and watch those beforehand to familiarize yourself with the project and take some mental notes of where those videos pause so you can be prepared to ask those inquiry-based learning questions that we pose to the kids. And when those videos are all done, we recommend that you display the gallery section of the project page onto the projector or screen so the kids can see some examples as they're building. The hardest part for them tends to just be getting started, so please remember that the very first step is to build something that their leg can slide into or onto, and then just start building down. That part will probably require a lot of tape, as they need to use those tubes or pipes to attach those to the side and build towards the ground. In this project's bin, we don't have room to put an example they can work off of, so please reach out if any questions pop up so you can be knowledgeable and confident with them. But you can always put the examples from the videos or from the project's gallery on your phone to show them or leave them on the projector. And if you're looking to foster some good discussion while they're doing the activity, you could ask questions like, do you know anyone with a prosthetic leg or similar technology? Or have you ever seen when people with prosthetics can still play sports and continue with most physical activities in their everyday life? It's important to follow the material sheet for this project, as that's all the students get. It would sort of defeat the purpose of the design challenge if they went back to the bin and had unlimited resources for their prosthetic. And speaking of materials, we include a PVC pipe cutter in the bin to cut the pipes based on the student's height. It's very important that that cutter is only used by the teacher or instructor. It's very easy to use, but we don't want the razor blade near the hands of the students. Finally, these features will come in handy for most of the students' prosthetics as it allows them to bend or extend their pipes based on the height or needs. Try to pay attention in the video where we attach the Velcro to the top of the prosthetic. That's a popular way for students to fasten it down, but it can be a little tricky to get the hang of. If the project happens to be running a little early and you need some ideas for how to fill in the time, no worries, here's some tips. And the same thing goes for if you're running late. Here's some ideas for how to speed up the process, but still stay on task. As far as safety goes, please just make sure students are using common sense when using the hot glue gun. And also, before testing their project, maybe have them put a little weight on it to make sure that it's nice and sturdy to handle their total weight. When cleaning up, go ahead and put any unused or reusable items back in the bin so we can get them back and recycle them for future projects if necessary. So thanks again for your time and for your investment in your students. If any questions pop up after watching this video, please do not hesitate to reach out as we would love to help you feel as comfortable as possible while leading the prosthetic project.